They got their own shit. They got their own stuff. So as they come in here and they, they take our te technology, they take the technology and they bring the shit back and they build on what they learn here and they continue to build their own. We don't got no shit to bring back nowhere. If you get rich and you get a million dollars, you got to you gotta take care of Pookie, Sam, Jojo, Bobby. You got to take care of a whole generation. It ain't nobody to help you with that shit. And we've been individualized so much, we don't want to connect with the other person that got a million dollars, the other person that got five million dollars and say, listen, let's build this shit for somebody we don't even know. We're going to put all of our millions of dollars to build a fund for people that ain't even here yet, that we don't even know, so that they can come into this world with an opportunity to create intergenerational wealth to feed their families. We don't say that shit. So when I listen to Kanye and he says this love shit, no, I'm not going to love somebody who I know's his vested interest is in the, the, the demolition of my whole existence. For me to succeed, for me to get my birthright would eliminate Donald Trump and white supremacy. I'm aware he's made it painfully clear what his goal is. So why would I love him? Why would I allow you to walk me into somewhere to ambush me? We tried that already. The Native Americans tried that. Christopher Lummis came. They said, let's love. We about peace. We don't know where these people are coming from, but we're going to let them come over here. And we're going to let them do what they want to do. We're going to feed them. We're going to clothe them. We're going to do all the shit that they need done. And, and, then, and, they, and they was peaceful. And they got their heads cut off. They slaughtered those people and took their possessions. So I, I'm not, I'm not, my, my common sense will not allow me to let somebody tell me that the shit that Kanye says is right. Like th that is just self-preservation in its own would, would not allow me to do that. So when they, people keep telling you, yo, we just got a slave mentality. No, it's not that we got a slave mentality. We are slaves. Our whole culture is built on slavery. It is structured around slavery. You can't take your mind out of it until you identify with the real, the trauma from slavery, with everything that came from slavery, why we in the position we are. Until you're able to identify, you'll keep thinking, these niggas just lazy, man. They just don't want to do nothing. No, they took you. They didn't even, you have no culture. You have no foundation. Every black person that's born every day is building a brand new foundation. No other culture, no other race in this world is building a new foundation. Not one. I, I just want, I want you to understand, like, just listen to, listen to that. Understand what I'm saying to you. Understand what I'm trying to tell you. We are the only culture who don't have a real beginning. We don't have anything to look back on. Our culture is American culture. And Americans, the people who are the Americans, have their way of life, and we just try to fit in. And if you look at how far we've came since what they did, we have exceeded everybody. If you really think about it, we found a way, we have found a way to infiltrate into certain places, but the, what we have not found a way to do is how to put all of our resources together and build and create our own. Because we still, we still, we still living on an American dream. And American dream is you can have whatever you want. And that is so false. It's false. The American dream is this. It's one million people trying to get this. One million people chasing one thing. They know the reality is that only one person can get it. So the reality is every time you see that one person in the back of your mind, you're like, damn, I could be that one person. And this, and the probability of you being that one person that get that one thing is one million to one. But they don't tell you that. They don't tell you that everybody go up in the projects 99.9% .9 of the people that live in projects will not make it out of the projects. That's a fact. 
You do your own math. There's a, there, listen, everything that's built, capitalism is built off, is built off rural areas. It's built off the marginalized communities. It's built off people in the projects. Prison, all these things that they make the most money off in America is built on the backs of poor people. And the poorest people in America are black people because black people are the only people that don't have a foundation. America is our foundation. It ain't, and it ain't ours. That's just the bottom line. It ain't ours. We don't own shit here. When they decide to make a law and say, you know what? We just don't want you to do this. We're going to change the law so they can prohibit you from doing what we see you doing. Okay, oh no, y'all got a black president. Okay, so we're gonna make sure he can't pass no laws to make anything better for y'all because we understand that. No, Hispanics have mother countries. They can go back to Puerto Rico. They can go back to Dominican Republic. They can go back to and still have a culture. The Dominicans come over here, they get a job, they hustle, they do whatever they do. They take their millions back and they go back to DR and they buy homes, they give clothes, and they keep their culture going. They take their money back. The Africans that live, that that migrated to America, the Africans, they, I see them in my neighborhood. They, they, they get big trucks every month. And all of them put clothes, money, in all of these things and send them back. They send them back to, to, okay, and they take what they learn from here and they go back to their countries and they build their own countries with their own structure, their own culture, their own everything. They are independent. Even though they utilize the resources of America, they are independent of America. They can't send you back nowhere. So they leave you here and put you in jail. You don't have nowhere to build. A, you, not, you can't build nothing. So when, when you hear Kanye say, yo, no, we got to get the slave mentality. And he keep comparing himself to all these rich white people in America and say, there's a ceiling. Here's a ceiling. You know why there's a ceiling? Because it ain't yours. Like, I'm going to let you, if I let you, if I, if I got a house and I move you in, and I'm cool with you, even if I'm cool with you, I, and I got three kids and I got a wife and all that, you move in and I give you a room and you like, oh shit, and I feed you, boom, when you get a job, you work for me. I'm not giving you my house. The purple person who's going to get my house is my family. My son, my wife. Something happened to me, my wife and my son get my house. You're just going to be able to live here as long as you can. And then when you go out trying to buy your own house, you're going to realize that the people that own the rest of the houses ain't even going to rent you their house. They, not, they might not even let you in. And then you start getting frustrated because you've seen the house. You know that it can be owned because you've been in a house where it was owned and you've seen all this shit. So it frustrates you. So this is what's going on in Kanye's mind. His mind is, I know I'm smarter than most of the people. I know I have the abilities. I know I have all this shit. But I cannot obtain the monetary wealth. I cannot obtain ownership of the shit that they own. And they're not, and it's, they never gonna let me. So when you start to realize that and you feel like you're a genius, you know, you have more of a pri privileged life than most of them. You had a mother who was a school teacher who educated you, who took care of you, who molded your dreams, who made you feel great, who poured conf confidence in you. All of the shit you had and you can't get past the ceiling. So don't you think it's unfair to tell somebody else who don't got none of that shit that they can and, and tell them it's their fault if they don't? And you ain't creating nothing? We don't have no we don't have no pictures of success in our communities. We don't have no we don't have no pictures of success in our communities. The only picture of success I ever seen was a drug dealer or a basketball player or a rapper. So those were the three things that I tried in my life. It wasn't no senators that lived next door to me in a tenement. No, we went, they took their motherfucking money and their success and they got their good family out of, away from us 
We ain't have nothing. So all of our visions of success that we ever seen came from something negative. The reason why the white people continue to to grow because they grow up in communities where everybody got something. Just look at Rob Kardashian, man. Rob Kardashian can't get it right. He ain't got no talent. He ain't got no drive. He don't got nothing. But he got more than the average black man with 100% skills. With intelligent drive. Nigga wake up every day trying to figure it out. Rob Kardashian, who has no sense of anything, has more than some of the most intelligent, driven black people that you'll see in your life. Now, tell me a black person that you know that is not driven, that is not educated, that is not talented, who just has something because they got it. More than a, black, a white person. Where, where, where's that at? But where's that at? It ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. You can name a thousand white people that you don't even know why they're famous or why they got money. But you look up, they're in the tabloids. You look up, they buy a new house. You don't know what the fuck they do. You haven't seen or heard of anything. They just got a bunch of money. But every time you see a successful black person, you know exactly what they do. They're the best at what they do in this field. They're successful at this. So what? I know a lot of people, the dad was a lawyer. That shit don't mean nothing. What I'm, and that's what I'm trying to tell you. His dad was a lawyer. And his mother is a successful business person. His brother, his sisters are successful. And he's set for life because they are able to continue to feed the fam. Look at Love and Hip Hop, right? Who on Love and Hip Hop is able to successfully create intergenerational wealth? Everybody on those shows is, is built... It's barely making enough for them to survive. They ain't able to take this show and say, okay, I'll make my sister make a million dollars. I'll make my, my brother a supermodel. I'm going to do this. No. We don't have the luxury here. Of course it sounds like pocket watching because you rather you rather hear the dumb shit instead of hearing what's really going on. That's what it is. You rather hear dumb shit. Yeah, Cardi B did it. And Cardi B is taking care of every Dominican she that she she come in contact with. She is the supreme breadwinner of her family. Black people, yeah, look. This is what these this is what we got trolls. You got you got a bunch of trolls on here. Black people lazy, keep it real. This is the shit that they use. To distract you. And then they use Kanye to say the same dumb shit. Say, yo, we got to get out of this, this mentality. Nah. You you there. And you you can't make it past there. And you feel like you the, the most biggest genius in the world. So why you can't make it to where people who have half the brain power you make it? Because they're not your skin color. Because this ain't yours. It ain't designed for you to make it. Stop letting these people tell you that bullshit. I'm not saying don't continue to work, but just understand what's going on. Understand the reality is you have to build and continue to build with other people. And you got to build networks. You building something for yourself, it's, it's, it's useless. If I get rich and everybody else around me poor, then we all poor. Because I got to take care of all of y'all. I have not continued to build empires and networks and make people build and make somebody into something else then we lose if, if I'm worried about my small circle of my family the 10 people that I see most of my life then what did I really do you know like this is this is what we gotta wake up and that's what, what hurts me about this Kanye shit that's what really hurts me because you have a platform and your, your message is so wrong. When you say things like slavery was a, a, a choice, that, that diminishes the reality of what the people had to deal with. Millions of them chose to die. So what if they all chose to die, jump from the ships, and, and just go out and die? 
What if they all chose that? You wouldn't be here. You wouldn't have the ability to be able to be great. You would not have the opportunity because you wouldn't have been here. They'd all killed us all. And some of the matriarchs did say, we're going we gonna to put up with this shit. Some of the brothers say, yeah, we're going to put up with this shit. We're going to keep going. Hopefully, we, we, we can outlast this shit. We're going to keep it going. We're not going to die. We're going to figure out some shit. We, I'm going to outthink these people. 